tosses the china high and then smashes it down where the dock had been. Somehow, Fred Newmere manages to hang on and keep his camera running. Perfect! 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 <laughs> The harbor of Valdez is a seething whirlpool. The dock splinters, then disappears into the earth. No one on it will survive. Seismic waves are often used as an example for teaching the difference between transverse and longitudinal waves, and it's something that you really need to have defined whether you're doing GCSE physics or A-level physics. P waves are pressure waves, so they're longitudinal, and they're also the faster of the two seismic waves. That's why they're often called primary waves. is the largest state in the Union, a vast area of over half a million square miles bounded by the Arctic and Pacific Ocean. Truman, Fred Newmare and Ernest Nelson try to get some pictures with their 8mm camera. Perfect! waves are transverse and they are slower so they come second and we call them secondary waves. They're also the ones that do the majority of the damage in earthquakes. So the P wave is a bit like a warning and the secondary wave, well that's going to do the damage. Make sure you define transverse waves as having oscillations that are perpendicular to the direction of energy transfer and define longitudinal waves as waves which have oscillations parallel to the direction of wave energy transfer.